All right, for our third and final example, again, we're just given two sides. Uh, let's go ahead and solve for angle B first. I'm given an adjacent side and a hypotenuse, meaning I'll use cosine. Cosine B equals 3.62 over 5. Because I'm solving for an angle, I'm going to use cosine inverse. And that means that B equals, let's see, cosine inverse of 3.62 divided by 5 gives me 43.61 degrees. This means that angle C is going to be 90 minus that answer. Angle C is 46.39. Three nine degrees, or I could have used my inverse trig functions for angle C. Realize that I have an opposite and a hypotenuse. Cosine C equals three point six two over five. C equals arc cosine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be using sine, aren't I? Sine of C equals three point six two over five. C equals arc sine or sine inverse of 3.62 over 5, which when we use our calculators gives us 46.39 degrees. So we are good to go. Again, just a real quick summary. When we solve for sides of a right triangle, we're either going to use SOHCAHTOA or we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. When we solve for angles, and again this isn't a right triangle, we use inverse trig that's sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tan inverse, or we use the fact that the angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees.